This video is a little bit different than most of our other videos because it's a quick tip. Quick tip. Occasionally, I just have too many sick days or we're out having too much fun to be able to get one of our full length 25 minute location videos done and out for you guys every week. Right. So we decided that we have a lot of quick tips floating around in our heads here and we thought we would bring those to you on those weeks that maybe we just didn't have quite enough time to get a full video done. This is one of those weeks. But this is a good quick <laughs> tip. Today we're going to talk a little bit about propane systems and connecting to your grill. Why? Because he broke it. No, I did. But we needed this before I broke it. I know. But, <laughs> the but, but the you breaking, breaking it was yeah, what that was what the, got everything rolling. That here. was the catalyst. Yeah, prior to breaking it, and I'll show you what I broke, I had already reached out to propanegear.com. I found their website. I figured they probably know a little bit about propane since that's their name. <laughs> yeah. We exchanged a little bit of emails back and forth. I wanted something simple to be able to hook up our Blackstone directly to our propane without disconnecting propane mm -hmm. because about eight times out of 10, I'll go hook up the propane grill and realize that I'm hooking it up to the only full propane tank. And if I wanna cook something in the oven inside or on the stovetop, that can't happen. Yeah, so this allows us to use both propane tanks at the same time while still hooking one. I'll just show you, I guess it's a lot easier. So let me show you what's been a huge pain in the grill setup for the last year or so yeah. that I just kind of dealt with. You guys know that we love our Blackstone. However, this issue he's gonna to talk to you about has made the cooking on the Blackstone a yeah. little bit more inconvenient, nothing to do with the Blackstone. Yeah, but so I bought this hose, 12 foot hose, to be able to connect our Blackstone up to our propane tank without taking it out or anything. This regulator is from the Blackstone and this is how flexible the hose is. <laughs> like, seriously? <laughs> it's so yeah. freaking stiff. And so I would roll this thing up into a circle and then go to get it out. And I would have to bend it the opposite direction. Bend, 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 bend. Well, the last bend did it in. It actually broke right there. No bueno. No bueno. So we called off steak night when this happened. And I yeah. immediately went back to propanegear.com and ordered the stuff that they had recommended. So here's the thing about propanegear.com is they know all this stuff. I didn't know Jack about propane other than hooking it up and hoping it works. And I wanna interject and say that we do not have an affiliation with these guys. They were just really helpful. Yeah. We may someday, mm -hmm. but we paid for all this stuff and they helped us yeah. without knowing that there's gonna be a video yeah. or anything. Currently no affiliation. We have talked to them about their affiliate program that they have upcoming and we'll be part of that. But for now, we just really like them. Yeah. So. Get rid of that thing. That would be old, it would <laughs> I've, be. I've been keeping it around just to film this. I really like the idea of a quick disconnect right on the side of the RV, but I didn't really feel like having that big of a project right now. So I, I went back and forth and they were really great corresponding via email. I, I said, here's what we got. I explained our two tanks and regulators and they said, send us a picture. I did, they said, oh, so that's an actual regulator, not just a splitter up in here. And long story short, here's what we came up with. Can you just yeah. hold, hold one second? Okay. I think they're fine, but I just Potatoes sure. for steak night. Okay. <laughs> That's what that timer was. So, you know, we're redoing steak night since we didn't get to do it the first time. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to have a solution that I had a quick disconnect on. And I also wanted a solution with a flexible hose. Those are my two main priorities. What we came up with was a simple Y connector. This goes right to the gas stop, which we'll show you, which I'm sure you've heard us talk about before. A little quick note, these threads that go inside go backwards, whereas these threads go forwards. So the righty tighty lefty loosey does not work on that <laughs> end. Takes you a little while. You spin it for a while before you go, this just isn't working. 
So this connects to the propane tank via the gas stop, which actually the gas stop works out good for this because it extends it out a little bit past the tank and I can put the Y connection this way versus this way. That connects to this. This is simply a pressure regulator and a quick disconnect. That's it. That's really it. Oh, and the other part, it's actually a kit that comes with the hose. Now see if you notice the difference in this hose. <laughs> Nice and flexible, Woo. I don't have to fight it. And this guy, quick disconnect that connects right to, leaves are falling, it's it connects right to the Blackstone. So let's hook it up. Let's hook up this guy. So if you remember, this is a little thing we call gas stop. And this guy's whole purpose is to shut off propane if you have a broken line due to whatever some kind of catastrophic situation. I don't know why I disconnected that. Took it back up. So this gas stop works out great because it extends it out a little bit. It's, you can smell that gas when yeah. you open that up. Woo! So you'll notice this is righty tighty lefty loosey. This guy is not, has to go the opposite direction. Lefty tighty. Both of these connections do have the standard valves in them that don't leak, unlike the propane tank, which seems to leak. And then I can connect this guy up here now we have this guy and you know i think propanegear.com and torgic which is the manufacturer of this i think they're one and the same not 100 percent sure but when i called propanegear.com the answering machine said torgic so i'm guessing that just screws on here and this is a righty tidy and now it can stay like that this guy I will probably just leave this connected like this. Okay. Little note, this has to be in the closed position for this to function. It won't open. I'll just leave this 90 in here. I could take it off if I want to, but if I take it out, I will lose it. So now, when it's time to set up the grill, all I do is get out this hose. Nice, flexible hose. Yeah. Connect that up. Okay. That is flexible. Yeah, it's nice. So nice. That's it. Grill's hooked up. Oh, turn on the, the gas. That's it. Let's fire it up. This is now a low pressure line all the way to here. Boom. That's it. So now... Now we cook some steaks. Yeah. If you watched our Blackstone Grill video. Coleman Showdown video, you'll know that one of the reasons I love the Blackstone is I can clean it in like 30 seconds. One of the reasons I love the Blackstone is because he likes to cook on it and <laughs> that makes my life easier. This is true. <laughs> so you know I like simplicity mm -hmm. and a lot of times when it was coming time to set up the grill, it was like, oh, I got to deal with that stupid hose again. Yeah. No longer. It's a simple solution. In the future, I might move that quick disconnect down and mount it on the frame. They do have kits for that as well. I just didn't feel like dealing with that right now. Do you want to tell them how they can purchase? Yeah, it's just propanegear.com. We'll have a link down below. If they do start offering an affiliate program, we'll have that link down below. Right. There's but, also They're also on Amazon. Mm -hmm. They do also have a lot of their pieces on Amazon. So if you know what you need, you can simply go to Amazon. If you have a setup similar to ours, we're going to have all of these three pieces down in the description below. The only thing that might be different is if you don't have a Blackstone, you might need a different hose kit or a hose and then buy the quick adapter somewhere else. But we'll have all of those links in the description below, so check it out. And now, Chad's mom and dad are coming over. We're going to throw some steaks on yeah, the Yeah, good timing, guys. Are they really here Come now? <laughs> <laughs> good timing. Mm -hmm. All right, time to eat. Let's cook some steaks. All right, this... Nope. So, yeah, we're going to talk today about car alarms and how they <laughs> recording. Okay, say that over. <laughs> I gotta go in and check the potatoes. Cause you... it's steak night. Oh. Or do you want me to? What do you want me to do? Um. Just can you just yeah. hold hold one second? Okay. I think they're fine, but I just potatoes sure. for steak night. My parents are coming over. We're gonna have steaks. Just me and you. Just hanging out. 
Could use a beer. You know my arms are getting tired, right? Okay. 